go directly to her face. I couldn't hear the uh, awkward. She's gone now. Oh, anyway, hey, there we go. <laughs> getting into this this game, uh, Keith something. I, I don't. The names haven't changed yeah, yet. Yeah, the names haven't changed yet. Let me see if I can find. I think this is WC Jinnablob versus Death Melon. No, no, no. This is the guy. Scroll up. It's the guy I just oh. I just played. Oh yeah, this is uh, Treehouse versus Keith the Geek. There Keith we go. The Geek. Yeah, Rob would probably do a bit better against this uh, this style that Treehouse has. Nice bet. Yeah, Treehouse has a very sort of, you know, yeah. Treehouse is why people complain about Ness type thing, you know what I mean? It's yeah. it's, it's very straightforward and you know what's going to happen, but Ness's yeah. data is just so good, it's, it's hard to deal with. To do against it. Also, to have like a guaranteed kill at 110 and all you got to do is grab. That's yeah, but the, the good thing is he'll, he'll like fish for it a little bit. So if you're like looking for it, mm -hmm. if you know he's if you know he's looking for it, you can try and set up. Yeah, and your guys little uh, your guys little dance there at the very end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was like, I was like, if he if he fishes for this back throw, I know I can beat him by fishing harder. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> it was one of those things. One thing he also does, he's a little too aggressive with his PK uh, uh, thunders and his uh, neutral one. I don't know what flash. Or oh, PK flash. Yeah, he just throws him out and then like doesn't do anything with him. He'd probably do better to get stage position or something. Yeah. Either way, this could be a kill. Um, he has, he's in rage, and of course you have to be afraid of Ness when he's in rage. Always. I think, uh, luckily Rob is a little too heavy for that. So, I, th I don't think he's going to survive another one, though. Although this up throw, maybe. Yep, I was going to say, go with the up throw. Very nicely done. I've seen a lot of Rob today that actually don't utilize their up throw. Oh, but it's so good. It's it a is. kill move. I completely agree. It will kill above 130 from most of the light characters, so, so uh, it's just... It's, I've taken advantage of that a few times this afternoon. Someone tell these Robs that they need to uh, they need to up throw. Good up air. Good up air. I can't believe it beat out that nair. That's some that's a big head Ness has. <laughs> Good. He's got a throws out the yo-yo. Catches him landing with PK fire. That's that's one of the things that I was trying to catch Treehouse with. Is if people try to land with air dodges or aerials, mm -hmm. but like nowhere near Ness, Ness can just like put a PK fire where they're gonna land, and yep. all of a sudden it's like Ness is still in control. It's such a good move if you connect it, considering there's no SDI. Yeah. That was a good little job by Keith there to use his spinning arms. Uh, it's not often used reflecting capabilities. And nice forward air, narrowly missing that up air. This is getting down to the wire. Yeah. Of course. Uh, I think I heard the point. If Keith can land an up air, that's going to be off the rope in Treehouse. Yeah, that's true. And now Treehouse is looking for that back throw. Mm -hmm. And he's going to run up and roll behind a couple times. Good little neutral air there. Oh, missed the laser, but I like the gusto. Ooh, the oh. last hit of up air. Not going to ah, kill quite yet. Go, I was wrong about that. Just how much I know. Yeah, he's looking for it. He, he wants it back there real bad. Oh, but he eats that side B to the face, and that could do it. No, not quite. Not quite yet. Oh, he rolled behind. He got him with it. Is it going to kill? Not quite yet. Right. Even though Ness is in rage. It, and the oh, up smash! There we go. Game one goes to Keith the Geek. I feel like that Becker actually would have killed. Gotta love the robs coming out. Yeah. Also, I'm gonna go figure out what she said because I feel bad now. Alright, go, go for it. Go for it. Was I right? Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> I could have sworn that's what she said. Anyway, game Ask two. Ask if you wanted to play a friendly later. Oh, there we go. Yeah. There we go. I'm not, uh, I'm not a jackass. So. <laughs> All right, game two. FD, the treehouse special. Takes you to FD. Yep, I'm telling you. If there's one little bit of advice I'd get to everybody, just walk this level off the treehouse. Nah, I got it. I'll take him here next time. <laughs> Once you've seen it, I think, you know, do what you will, but the first time, you know, this is where this is a comfort zone. Uh, when he comes here and plays friendlies on, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, he oftentimes goes to the stage. <laughs> so, of course, only reason I picked up on that. Good Thinking back throw. throw. I like that he actually goes for back throw just to get people off stage. He's not necessarily looking to kill. Yeah. But the problem with that is that he's staling it if he's not careful. Of course, it's it's a ten move list, so you, most Nesses will try to just never use back throw. If they ha if they can avoid it, so that it they get the the fresh move bonus. Yeah, this could be it. No, he actually misses the up smash. Does uh, Ness have any easy way to reset the uh, the sail move on that? Or well, he can. He, I mean, there's like no easy way. way. But, well, uh, hit with lots of fares. I'm pretty sure just like brawl, each hit counts towards the list. Okay. If you have multi hit moves, that typically works. Yeah, so like it's probably fresh now. Yeah. 
Ooh, side B. Oh, and he gets the shield poke. Yep. Yeah, it's um, it can be terrifying if you're not careful and you have any shield. That can break your shield if you get every hit off of on Rod's one. So I guess he decided to take the big old uppercut from the robot rather than taking the uh, the chance of a shield break. And he actually killed him with an up air from way below the stage. I don't believe it. Yeah, that was uh, shocking to say the least on that one. And now Keith, all he needs is one up throw at this percent, 137, and he's looking for it too. Well, it's not a short sailing. I do think that uh, this kill is definitely short enough for them to kill him this day. And good pivot grab. Will that do it? Not quite. Uh, I had to... Oof. He's doing a good job of not picking up more damage, though. He's only picked up five damage throughout this whole process. Which is... Yeah. Well, what a time to drop your shield. Like. <laughs> and Keith oh. is starting to get a little bit fishy for this kill. Yeah. I mean, I think everyone's been there once or twice, but you really got to just take a deep breath, calm down, reevaluate. And then again, yeah, uh, that's actually Treehouse missing that grab gives it yeah. up to Keith. But that was something uh, Neil once taught me. He said, you, "You can't. You should play at high percents exactly like you play at low percents. There should be no change to your style mm -hmm. because if all of a sudden you start changing it, people will be all over for you, all over you." Yeah, I think it's a pretty good. Not very, I am one of the worst tilters I've ever played. Ah. I'm awful about it, so I could definitely need to listen to that. Wow, the gyro Ooh, to side B. Look at the damage. Loved it. Rob, he's so annoying to play against. And while, uh, well, actually, okay, there we go. That's getting a little bit bigger there. It's worth noting that I think Rob is the ninth heaviest character in this game, whereas Ness is way down near the bottom of that list. Yeah, Ness is pretty light. Dice so. a lot of stuff very easily. So you can never count out this enraged Rob. I honestly think he'd probably be able to survive a back throw if it stopped right on the edge. Oh, yeah, he, maybe well, not anymore. 143, 143, probably not. Yeah, when he was around 130, I think he might have had one more in him, but I think if he gets grabbed, he's gone now. Oh, the fire actually goes under the top. That's and the dash tech. So we're getting a pretty high percent. Let's see if... Let's see and if that'll do there it. There we go, there's the game on that one. So, oh, we didn't put in... So that's 1-1, one, one, correct? Yep. Oh, he does not have 10. 10-1. Ten, ten <laughs> oh, man. Let's see what happens. There we go. All right, we've updated it. Look at me. I'm a really old computer wizard over here. Basically a stream manager. <laughs> Call you Gimmer, a Chibo. Oh. All right, so we're getting into a game three. Counterpicks in the Dreamland wants as many platforms as possible. That's good for two reasons. One, as we already said, Treehouse loves the FD stuff. He goes for grounded PK fires all the time. Runs in with dash attacks, things like that. But for for Keith, that means that he can get up throws that land on the platform and kill even earlier than normal. Yep, uh, that's the same thing that I was really hoping to see Dankazor do earlier. Uh, but she's used to playing for glory. Right. She's not good with the platforms yet, but that's one of Charizard's best things. Yep. Is getting people on the platform. And she's not competent in playing against them yet. Got it. Man, the jabs from Treehouse. He's playing just such a solid wall out game. Mm -hmm. It's really, it could be rough to go up against. If you don't have a level head, you can get, you can find yourself getting a little annoyed by it very quickly. Right. So it's a great style of play. I mean, that is definitely a viable option in this game. And grabs and throws him off stage. I don't understand why Keith, every time he throws him off stage, he'll just like run to center stage and charge Gyro. Like, go out there and hit him. <laughs> like, Rob's yeah. forward air is so fast. Rob's it's... got an amazing forward air and his ability to come back. You have to. If you have a fully charged up B on Rob, like you have all your fuel, you can get back from anywhere. Not to mention, like, even on top of that, Rob just has a projectile game. Even if he doesn't want to go off stage, you can just, like, chuck projectiles at him yeah. and make it make his way back difficult. But Keith has sort of just been letting him come back for free. Yeah, I guess in, in the uh, in these situations, it can, I guess, nerves can get to you, but you're absolutely correct. It's, yeah, it's kind of sure. shocking to not see him follow out there. Good down smash, Good and down that smash. actually could do it. It does. Mm -hmm. So Keith trapping that landing trios with a mistimed forward air. I believe we talked about that earlier, but that down smash on Rob is, you know, it's a good. Great little spacing move. And that's something Holy Nightmare will do actually, is if someone is off stage, he'll he'll put a down air like right by the ledge to try and spike people. And then he'll just land on stage and down smash. So like if you get up or roll or anything, you just die. Makes sense. It's really cool. Oh, good roll. And actually, Treehouse spaced that yo-yo correctly, but Wispy blew him closer to the ledge. <laughs> so when Keith tried to roll on, it didn't clip him. But a good finish there, and we're at last stop, game three. One of these guys is staying alive in this tournament. Yeah, it's been a very nice match we've had going on here so far. Good falling there from Keith. 
And he, now Keith is playing the wall game in Treehouse. He's having trouble landing. There he goes. Air dodge to forward air. That'll do it. And he grabs him down throw up air. There, Kava, that might be it. The Rob Hoo-Ha. Not quite. I guess not enough rage going on in that system. The lights aren't bumping. The music's not going. There, he finally went out there. Took an up air. And now Treehouse with a great turnaround. Ooh. Oh, he goes to uh, pie. Can he get go. the punish? Up smash? Oh, oh no. To go with the top. Go with the easy damage, I suppose. I think he, he was stuck is, with uh, the up smash. Yeah, it doesn't matter. He catches him this time with up air. I think that's what he meant to do the last time with the top yeah. of his hand and threw him off. Yeah. So good stuff. Keep the Geek takes it in game three. Oh, no. It's a best of five. I forgot. Are we in best of five already? Yeah. This is top eight? Oh, we're losing round seven. Didn't even see that, ladies and gentlemen. Does that mean I placed ninth? It's a, uh, it's a yeah, sad day. Yeah, it would have been top ten. Sad day. That's all right. I was seated 16th, so I guess we take those. Seating was, yeah. <laughs> Don't even get me started about seating in here. I could go on for. No, I'm just kidding. I've been giving Dunham a hard time all day. <laughs> he has this. He has this fetish of putting me against the number one uh, seed every every week. Oh God, that sucks. Yeah, I've never made it out of round two of the winners. <laughs> Got a couple. Yeah. Anyway, not worth talking about. Tomorrow. And then back to FD. You know, is DSR of any kind in effect? Like, this should not be legal. Uh, no, actually, previous previous stage bans don't stick. It's, it's not a ban. He won here. Uh, game no. two. I don't think we, I don't, to the best of my knowledge, that's not something we do with here. We don't have DSR? Oh, God. All right, we're going to have to look in this rule book anyway. <laughs> we don't have DSR, we don't have custom. I'm fine with no custom, yeah, but like. Too. No, yeah, I don't. That's never even come up, I don't believe. So. If Treehouse like, wins this game, he'll have won two games in the set on FD, like, in a best of five. Where we have like 11 stages or something legal. We have a lot of stages legal here. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the end, also, it comes up to the geek to not block the stage. Uh, even, even outside of that aspect. I'm kind of shocked you wanted to come back here. True. There must be some stage he really hates. Yeah. That's me, probably. Oh, yeah. <laughs> something like that. Uh, I think that one's going to forever be in the discussions of banning. Yeah, nice. someone actually took me there today, and I was so mad I actually started banning stages against people. I haven't banned against anyone, but after I played on Casualty, I was like, all right, no more of that. <laughs> yeah, I, that's one of my, that and Lila are the two I go to if I ever need to throw somebody off a game. Ooh, Ooh the S smash and Treehouse what looking dog? real solid. Yep. He's going to roll 30 times and then hit him with the gyro. Reflecting his... Uh... Nice! Ooh. Caught him spot dodging. What a Good great, one. great choice. Oh man, the triple fair. Oh, Nest feels classic. so bad to have that done. D day one Nest stuff, right? Like, <laughs> good gyro. Just setting up his wall. Ah, but he dash attacks into the top. And now he's Keith is doing the smart thing, just retreating and trying to keep the wall up. Because once Nest gets in, life gets real hard. As you yeah. see right there, it took like 20 damage, I think. Something crazy. Yeah. That's one of the most punishable things Treehouse does. Uh, when he's on the edge sometimes, he decides not to get to the corner of the projectiles, he oftentimes throws up the up smash. Right. He tries to predict you putting it up. You just wait it out, you get a free hit on him every time. And he reflects the fire back at him again. Good read. Yeah, the damage coming in from Keith every time he does that is, is pretty substantial. And now he's actually evened up the game, so this is a this could be it. Uh, Keith could take it right here. And this on FD, on the Treehouse's counter pick. Yeah. Uh, he goes for the up smash, but he doesn't get it. It's close, though. It is a it is an actual nail biter, and we have a grab. What's he gonna do with it? He goes for up throw. I don't like that because I think even he knows it wouldn't kill. But he gets him with a second up air, and that'll do it. This time, Keith the Geek takes it for real. Three one. There we go. Three one. Yeah. Sorry, I was seeing if anybody on Twitch agreed with the uh, don't go back to winning stages. I've seen a 